are talking Project Ithaca. This one is directed by Nicholas Humphreys. And this is going to be one of those movies where you, when you start watching it, you feel like you've started watching a TV series halfway through the season and you don't have any idea what is going on. That is what the beginning of this movie is like. So let me give you a, a little bit of brief plot synopsis. And unusually, this one, I would say, actually benefits from giving you a little bit of a spoiler because I feel this movie doesn't do a particularly good job of setting its audience up in a great place. I will keep it quite vague, though. So what, what we have is a group of random people all waking up inside a spaceship. Now, it isn't clear when you're watching this. And um, they have no idea what they are doing there. At least most of them don't. And as the movie transpired, kind of bits, the things are revealed and we find out there's kind of some type of alien abduction kind of situation going on. It's been going on for, you know, a good long time. And uh, they are abducting humans for a specific purpose. And there's a couple of humans like that, that have a, they have abducted that may have an idea about what's going on. One of them may be uniquely designed to even tackle them. So that is a very vague plot synopsis because even, you know, this movie, it, it starts off, I've got to say, in a quite a tough, in a, in a tough spot because you immediately start the movie with, um, you feel like you're kind of watching something halfway through. So it doesn't make it particularly kind of, uh, a, a great watch because they start straight away with techno babble and kind of like pseudoscience and you know characters interacting things. I don't know what's going on now the movie does kind of find its feet and you will actually kind of understand the kind of situation probably towards the beginning of the second act but that first act I gotta say is a little rough um, but let's talk about in a bit more detail what works first of all. Okay, so this is a, a relatively low budget kind of science fiction movie, more or less taking place all in one set. Now we have this kind of holding chamber where we have this kind of group of people who have all been abducted and they are kind of bound to the kind of the walls by these kind of like strange Geiger-like kind of alien tentacles and they don't know what they're doing here, at least the majority of them like I've said. Now the special effects in these sequences are pretty good. Um, like I said, it kind of will remind you of like the Aliens movie when they kind of you have all the kind of the uh, uh, the people kind of like up against the walls. It kind of looks a little bit like that, and we have these kind of like tentacle kind of like alien creatures that again look pretty impressive and I've got to say pretty scary. Uh, what this movie reminds me of the most, however, is the Matrix film because in a lot of sequences you have the the aliens kind of make contact with a human and it kind of sends them into well essentially the matrix um for lack of a better word they kind of go into this kind of like uh, construct state where they are facing various different things and kind of a, and they're able to interact so it kind of and you have uh, this kind of like you know wise oracle like character that kind of turns up that is you know the alien intelligence speaking in a kind of through a kind of human facade and it just reminded me so much of The Matrix. Um, we also have kind of flashbacks and kind of, you know, some kind of scenes outside of this kind of place to kind of, to, uh, you know, to kind of get you up to speed. So the movie's actually, you know, a fairly kind of intelligent science fiction kind of drama. Um, and I've got to say, I thought the actors did a pretty good job here. They all did a, you know, once we kind of get to know their characters a bit, you find that they are quite likeable characters for the most part all very kind of different and all kind of played um, pretty well by their respective actors. Like I said, the special effects are pretty good. And the story is actually fairly solid um, with a kind of, you know, a reasonable amount of world building and kind of like, you know, quite high stakes. And the movie actually kind of, once we kind of find its footing, it's actually a pretty intriguing story that of the kind of, you know, a fair amount of kind of twists and turns and kind of, uh, you know, an, an ending which is kind of satisfying but kind of leaves the door open for a sequel that will probably never happen. Um, however, like I've kind of alluded to, I think the problem with this film is the first act is kind of rough because I I'll be honest with you, watching this first act, I don't read the blurb on these films, I just kind of watch it and I was like, I just don't know what's going on. Um, you feel like you're kind of walking into the cinema halfway through a film and you don't know what's going on. And it really does feel like that. And, you know, even the kind of like, there's no soft introduction, it's like a hard open and people are already abducted and they're kind of already kind of having conversations and you just don't, I don't know what's going on. 
Uh, and it's not until the beginning of the second act that you kind of start piecing together the, the, all the pieces. The problem I have with that is, it, you know, the filmmakers might think that's a good idea, but the problem is, is that someone watching from kind of like, you know, it's a, it's a completely new to this, I can see people's interests winning because they, they won't get what's going on. So people's interests will start dipping out before we get to that kind of second act. And I've obviously watched the whole film and, um, you know, obviously got what's going on. But I feel that was a bad decision by the filmmakers to have this very kind of like um, quite confusing kind of first act uh, and then kind of explain it kind of later on. Because I just don't think, I just think it will lose people's interest in that first act. Not everyone, but some people will just kind of, I don't know what's going on, it's going to switch it off. Um... Now the movie does kind of make sense well, kind of once you kind of get going, but again, I do feel even, uh, even when you kind of get the gist of that, what's going on, the movie can't help but kind of like dabble in kind of lots of kind of techno speaking kind of pseudo sites more in the third act. And again, although you can kind of follow the story, you don't really kind of like, I mean, people are talking in, in like, uh, like I've said, pseudo scientific terms and I, I don't know if it's kind of, it just is, uh, I feel it's, it doesn't do a good job of really kind of holding the, the audience's hands and kind of guiding it through this narrative journey in a particularly cohesive way. I mean, you can kind of, you can kind of make out, uh, and you, you, you'll, you'll get what's going on, but you'll feel like he's missed a few bits, to be honest, especially with this character called Sarah. Um, I feel w what happened in regards to her fate, to be honest with you, it's a little confusing. Um, it's the editing as well is a little bit choppy, particularly in that in that kind of like that latter third half, uh, where we kind of see it flashes very very quickly between kind of scenes, and it's a little bit jarring at places. I think overall this movie is pretty good. It's a you know, well made, well thought out movie, but I feel it's, again, and I say it in so many so many kind of reviews, it's like the the filmmakers know the message that they are trying to kind of portray, but they don't they're not thinking about it from an audience member who's walking. It's a kind of a brand new and has no idea about what's going on. And I see this a lot in indie films. Um, but it's a good movie. It does make sense if you can kind of stick if you can kind of stick with it. Six out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.